Hey y'all, welcome to the very last day of Vlogmas. I hope you all are having a wonderful holiday. I hope you have a super Merry Christmas. And I just finished streaming on my Sims channel this morning. And uh, right before I did, I wanna show you, Lim's brought me something so sweet. He brought me a little bouquet of flowers this morning. Totally unexpected, it was so sweet. But it's so pretty, look at all the different flowers in there. And then, so when I came out, I was getting ready for my stream when I came out, he was in the kitchen putting it in a vase. Aww. So sweet. I love getting flowers. And so now I need to uh, do something with my old <laughs> with my old bouquet that's dying over there. And then while I was streaming, he wrapped all my Christmas gifts and they are absolutely beautiful. Look how nice they look. He did he did all this ribbon work and stuff. Like mine are gonna look like total shit in comparison. Yes, Belle Belle. I think she wants to go out, y'all. I gotta take her out. Um, but I just wanted to show you my beautiful gifts that he wrapped so thoughtfully for me. All right, y'all, time for Advent coffee. We are on day 23. Yay! And this is the last day you guys are going to see because I am not going to be recording tomorrow. But I'll post it. I'll post it somewhere and let you know. Follow me on social media. I'll let you know what the last day is. But today, we are getting... Black and tan. Oh, this is a pretty good one. It's just a plain unflavored coffee, but it's pretty good. Adventurous blend of Costa Rica, Sumatra, and Colombia. All right, pouring it in. It smells very nice. Nice coffee flavor. Smell, coffee smell. You know what I'm saying. Brew now. While we're waiting on the coffee to brew, we're gonna consult our magical almanac, and I will link to the 2024 version down in the description box below. So today is Friday the 23rd. It's Christmas Eve Eve. The color of the day is gray. The incense is pine, which I do have. My dress just fell down. And the moon is waxing Taurus today. So this is my pine incense that I got from Gia's Traditions on Etsy, and I'll link to that down below as well. I love the way this stuff smells. I am just so in love with evergreen incense this year. Um, the cypress one I think is my favorite one. Well, besides my Yule incense, of course. Mm, but the pine smells really nice too. So let's light it up. Make the apartment smell like a Christmas tree and delicious black coffee. I don't know, I guess Christmas trees are technically firs, not pine, but still. It's a wintry, evergreen type of smell and I like it. Okay, coffee is done, so I'm gonna pour a cup of black and tan, pour in a little cream, give it a little stir, and now we taste. It's pretty good. Pretty good, uh, not flavored, but still really good coffee. Of course, I prefer the flavored ones and I will link to all the Door County coffees down in the description box below if you wanna check them out. If you like just plain coffee, the black and tan is really good. And Lim's is rearranging the flowers to make them prettier um, and like snipping off some of the stems and stuff because they were a little too tall the first time, he thought. I thought they were perfect, but you are so thoughtful <laughs> with everything you do. <laughs> Oh, they're so pretty. I love them. Okay, well, he was kind of right because they look really pretty. They look prettier now. Wait, let me get it from this side. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Well, y'all, we are approaching Garvin Woodland Gardens. So this is the drive up. It's um, There's lights and stuff here, but it is amazing once you get inside. So I really wanted to end Vlogmas with showing you guys these beautiful Christmas lights. If you're ever lucky enough to be in Arkansas, um, around the holidays, I would highly recommend that you come and see this because it is incredible. Here is the Garvin Railroad. So they dress this up for Christmas and make it look like, I don't know if it's supposed to look like the Polar Express, but it's a Christmas train. Here it comes. Oh, that's so cool. And there's another one too. So there's two tracks here and two different trains that go by. So there's another one over there. Here's the second one. I think this one looks a little bit cooler. Yeah. Aw, so that's the train. So actually there are three trains, guys. There's another one going by right here. Oh, and here comes another one. Oh, the Polar Express. And here's a close up of this one. Yeah, Santa's train. It's all filled with presents. And this first little area right here is all like everything silver and gold. It's really neat. I think this is the Enchanted Forest. Yeah. Yeah, this is the Enchanted Forest. It's enchanted with silver and gold everywhere you look. 
And this is normally the garden of the pine wind when you just come to the gardens and the lights aren't up. But it gets even more beautiful than this, guys. I should have brought the gimbal. Yeah. So as you can see, we're going deeper and deeper into the forest. And we are gonna go way out here and see all kinds of amazing lights out here, y'all. I really love when they have the spotlights on the trees like this. Like it makes the trees look blue and it just looks so magical. You feel like you're in a fairy tale forest. And look at the bridge over here. Just stopping to take a selfie together, Limbs and I, and this really nice guy stopped and took a whole bunch of pictures of us. It was really sweet. <laughs> People are so nice and friendly around this time of year. Look at the tree! It's so pretty! The purple and orange lights. Oh my god, y'all. It's like magical out here. But it gets even better. This is just the beginning. So here's the water down here. I can hear it. Can't see it that well yet. There's some kind of like wait. Oh, is that a seal? I think that's a seal made of lights. And you can see the reflection on the water. Um, but we are about to go over this bridge. Look at these lovely like globe lights in the trees. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Look at all the colors. All right, we're about to go over the bridge and I'll show you guys the view from the middle once we get over here. There is a really cool sea dragon on the water somewhere. I don't think we've quite got to it yet, but here's the view from on the bridge, looking out. Here's a swan made of lights, and here is a, looks like a giant bonsai tree, but it might be a Japanese maple, um, all lit up right next to a waterfall that's also lit up. So now we're approaching this blue forest where everything is blue which is really cool. And I do see the sea dragon down there, um, but I think we can get a better view of it from somewhere else, but hopefully you can see that right there in the water, or on, close to the water. Here's a good view of it. Yeah, we are gonna see him much better when we go over on that other path. And we're a bit closer to the sea dragon. Look at him! but I think I'm gonna get a better view soon. And then there's all these hanging lights up in the trees over here. And then on the ground, all of these like net lights all over the plants. It is so incredible. Like I feel like the, the video is not ever gonna do this justice. Feels like you're in a real winter wonderland. Ha ha, there he is. There's the sea dragon. And he blinks and flashes and the lights change. So cool. All right, y'all, so we're going into a new area here. Um, they have all these themed areas. So everywhere you go is like a different theme. And this looks like bamboo and pandas uh, down here. Really cool. Oh my gosh, look at this. I've never seen this one before. I've never seen these displays before. That is really cool. So I haven't been here, well, Limbs and I actually came here a couple weeks ago, but before that, and I didn't see these when we were here, but before that I haven't been here in over 10 years and it has gotten way better. It was incredible the first time I came, but now it's even, it's even more incredible. Look at these pandas. Oh, look at this, the panda climbing up the tree. Oh my gosh, y'all, oh, so cute. I love this little area. Okay, we're about to leave this now and go on to the next place. So this is where the origami uh, cranes are in the trees. I also have never seen this before. So here's some more views of the cranes in the trees. And I love how they have the trees lit up. This is so beautiful when you're walking under it. Here's the waterfall, y'all. They have it all lit up. It's beautiful. You can't go down there though, which is probably for the best. And up on the hill here, above it, 
are all, uh, that's the blue area that we went through. There's the gold and silver way up there. And now we're moving on to the next area. I can't wait to get to the big tree. And oh my God, we're gonna get even closer to the sea monster up here, the sea dragon. Yay, look at it. Oh my God, this is the best view. It's, it's reflected in the water. That is so awesome. It is huge. I'm just gonna keep walking so you guys can see. Um, how awesome it is! I'm trying to see what the best view will be for a picture and I think it's gonna be back here because it's got that tree right in front of it there. Now we're headed over to an area that's it's gonna look like we're underwater in the ocean kind of. It's so cool. So they have all these uh, sea anemones and the lights in the trees are supposed to I guess look like water. So look how pretty this is y'all. This lit up um, sea anemone here. It's beautiful and they're all over the place. As you go through, it kind of does feel like you're underwater. It's neat. Over here, we're coming up on the end of the sea area and there's a shark down here. Pretty cool, coming out of the water there. And then we're moving into this next area, which has a lot of like colorful flashing orbs. So not quite sure what this is. Is it like a flower garden? Oh, is it still under the sea? Oh yeah, okay. So I think we, we are still under the sea. There's turtles, fish. We're coming out of the ocean, maybe. We're coming into a... I don't know. I don't know, y'all. There's fish and shit. It's pretty. There's a swordfish. We are still under the sea. Still under the water, but different color water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> different type of water. But there's fish and, like, plants and turtles. And these flashing lights are so pretty. So I'm trying to hurry up and get up here to show you guys the big, huge Christmas tree because um, they close in like 15 minutes. So we're gonna go under this tunnel right here, which is really neat. And then I believe we're going into the flower garden next. Here's the tunnel. Wow, I feel like I'm in a, I feel like I'm in Spaceship Earth at Disney. And we're coming out the other end. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So if we keep going over to the left, past all the beautiful flowers and plants and little bees that are buzzing around and water and lily pads, cattails, we're gonna go through another little archway and then right up here is the big tree and it plays music occasionally. It'll play, I think it plays Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies or something, but it's not playing right now. And for some reason the topper's not lit up. That's sad. My favorite place is right over here. So here's the big tree and right over here, if you walk underneath those trees, they are so incredibly tall and they have lights going all the way up them and it just feels so magical to walk underneath them. Maybe we'll have time to do that. Um, but here's the big tree. Oh, it's playing music. It just started. Oh my gosh. Let me back up. Ooh, and the toppers lit up too. So the tree is still going y'all, it's awesome. And uh, while it's playing music and doing its little show, out here in front, um, there's all these flowers and lights. I think these are roses. It's a 
gorgeous. We've got like 10 minutes. I'm gonna show you guys as much as I can. And now we're walking through these walls of lights and we're going to the area that's actually supposed to be like a winter wonderland. There's all kinds of snowflakes and oh my God, I'm just realizing these lights are changing color next to me. <laughs> that's cool. And this is, I think this is my favorite part of the lights is the Winter Wonderland area. It's so beautiful and magical. I love all the stars in the trees and I love these blue lights on these huge trees. It just feels incredible to walk underneath them. And you can still hear the music from the big tree playing. So it's really cool. And I don't, I know you can't tell yet, but this is awesome. When I walk under it, you can see. Now I'm gonna have limbs record me so you can see how big this is. So here I am standing under one of these big trees and I'm gonna go all the way up. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. And there's the moon up there, the full moon. Oh my God, that's incredible. I gotta take a picture of that. So here's the flower garden again. We're on the back side of the flower garden. We literally have minutes left before they close. Um, so I'm trying to show you guys a little bit more. This is like the little mushroom kingdom up here. And those lights that you see up above are just floating there in the tree. And I love these little mushrooms, look at them. We're going through little toadstool land and there is a big ass Yeti over there. If you can see him through the trees, that is a giant Yeti. We're not gonna go back there. I think that's bathrooms back there. Oh my God, it's a fairy. It's a fairy right above us. Oh, that is so awesome. I gotta take a picture. And here's a close up of some of the mushrooms on the side of the trail. There's some more over here. There are some, looks like, um, I don't know, are there's nutcrackers or toy soldiers or something over there? I don't know, we don't have time to go back there. There's still a lot more to see. So there is this light right here. If you follow it around, I'm trying to follow it. It's these elves throwing presents into the Santa sleigh. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I think I got, captured it. Down here we have a train that's all lit up. And I, I think we're moving towards the exit. I hope we're moving towards the exit. But you come down here, here's a train. You can actually climb up on the train, y'all. I'm gonna climb up on it. And I'm gonna go this way. Oh my gosh, it's so bright up here. And you can climb all the way inside it. And here's the steering wheel, or some shit. And look at the candy cane lane we're in. <laughs> and over here is the engine, the train's engine. Now we're getting off the train and we're gonna walk under these candy canes. <laughs> This is so awesome, y'all. It's really fun. It's really beautiful out here. Really puts you in the festive mood to be out here among all these lights. So here's a cello, a violin, and a piano that play music, classical music. And then there's this lovely field of lights right in front of it. And I believe right up there are the building with the train and the snack building. So we're headed back that way to the exit. Hey y'all, I am gonna end Vlogmas on Christmas morning. So I just wanted to show you our beautiful tree with all of our gifts underneath it. I'm so excited we're about to open presents. So here is our beautiful tree, which I love. I think it's my favorite tree I've ever had. And here are all of our gifts underneath. Now, most of these gifts are for my nieces and nephews and my brother and sister, which we didn't get to have our family Christmas yet. Um, but these over here on this side 
are the ones uh, that Limbs and I bought for each other that we're going to open this morning. And last night we decided to open one gift each from each other. And look what he got me. The Practical Witches 2024 Almanac, Grow Your Craft. This is written by Friday Gladheart, who is the local witch who runs our little occult shop here in Hot Springs. And she's awesome. She did our tarot reading on our first date. And this book is your daily companion to exploring your spiritual path with weekly lessons in herbalism, divination, magic, and witchcraft. So I'm going to be using this almanac along with my other uh, magical almanac throughout the year. And I am thrilled, y'all. This is amazing. And I will probably show this to you in more detail in future vlogs. But I just thought it was such a sweet and thoughtful gift that he got this for me. And my gift that I got to him that he opened last night he, seems kind of silly in comparison but I got him a big old squishmallow. <laughs> it's a puppy. All right, y'all, we finished opening presents and oh my God, Lim's got me the most beautiful, thoughtful gifts I could ever imagine. And I don't feel like my gifts to him were even as close to as good, but anyway, he says he likes them. And let me show you guys, he got me a new dress. So he got me this mushroom dress at Stella Mays. It's green and has red and yellow mushrooms on it. And he even got me a belt to match. So this white belt with a silver clasp. Um, it looks so much better than my black belt would have looked. So um, A plus to him for that. And then I'm wearing some black tights. And guess what? I'm not wearing my docks today. I'm wearing my little black ankle boots that I actually had to, to get the dust off of because they had sat in my closet for so long. But I just wanted to wear something a little bit different today with this dress and I think it looks super cute and I love this dress so much y'all. It's so warm and cozy and it's got long sleeves. Let me show you. Here's the pattern and to go with it he got me this beautiful agate necklace. Hopefully you can see how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh let me put it in the light. There we go. It's so pretty. And it matches the dress so well. So he just got me this whole outfit and I absolutely love it. The dress has pockets too. How awesome is that? You know how awesome that is. Dresses almost never have pockets. So yeah, it has nice roomy pockets right here on the side. So this is what I'm wearing today for Christmas and I'm wearing my real hair today. I know that'll make some of you guys happy. So I'm not wearing a wig. My hair looks pretty thin on the top and I'm not crazy about that, but I just feel like I'm wearing my natural hair. So I'm really glad that I didn't shave my head even though I was convinced I was going to, but I'm glad I didn't. Um, Cause today I just feel like wearing my natural hair and I think it looks really cute with this dress too. So he also got me a Hot Springs Then and Now book, which we were downtown in a gift shop one time and I was looking at this book and he literally had to drag me away from it cause I loved it so much. It's got all the pictures of like hot springs back in the early 1900s through the 1970s and then the pictures of what they look like now. And it is so fascinating y'all because you know how much I love hot springs history. So this is just such a wonderful gift. I love it so much. I can't wait to show you guys like when I go visit places I'll try to show you some of the old pictures from here. But yeah it shows like what hot springs used to look like back in the day. What it looks like now. Some of the buildings are still the same. Here's the Arlington way back when it was first constructed it still looks pretty much the same today but some things are completely different like this used to be the southern club where al capone would go and hang out and then now it's the wax museum so some things have changed drastically and there's pictures of buildings that like aren't even there anymore i am in love with this book i could just spend all day reading it and looking at the pictures it's such a sweet gift and then underneath that i got a new bamboo cutting board and it's huge look how big it is I mean, it matches my other bamboo cutting board. Love that. And a whole set of red melamine bowls, which I desperately needed y'all. The bowl shortage in my kitchen was no joke, but these are so pretty. He even got them in red to match my kitchen. And um, I love melamine. It's so like kitschy in 1950s. I love it so much. Y'all, he also got me a meat grinder. and We were gonna make some sausage. And oh my God, this thing is so heavy. It's one of the big steel ones. Um, so we're going to make our own sausage and steak burgers and all kinds of shit. So that's upcoming vlog content. But I love it. I'm so happy. Look at Morty. Morty likes the Squishmallow. Mm -hmm. So I got I got Limbs a Squishmallow. I got him Jenga. So hopefully we can play drinking Jenga for Christmas. <laughs> and then I got him a, a new shirt and pants. And he looks so good today. Oh, you look so cute in your little normie boy outfit. <laughs> And then I also got him a new wallet and it came in this engraved wooden box that has his initials on it. And then when you open it up, there is the leather wallet that I got for him. And I'm not gonna show you the front side because it has his initials monogrammed on it. 
but it looks really nice. So that was my, that was my fancy expensive gift I got for him. And I also got him his favorite candies, the Ferrero Rocher, but he likes the coconut ones, but they don't sell just the coconut ones. So you have to get the variety pack, but he likes all of them. So I got him a little candy thing. And I also got him a wax melt warmer because he really likes burning wax melts. And this one is so pretty. It's like ceramic, it changes colors, has a little ribbon on it and it has a silicone like um, warmer on top. And then I got him these strawberry cheesecake wax melts from Etsy. And I'll link to those if you wanna check them out. They smell so good. And the first thing he said is they smell like the strawberry shortcake dolls and they totally do. And I got him a new umbrella. So this is really a gift for myself because <laughs> Lim's always escorts me under the umbrella when it's raining or drops me off in the front because he's so sweet. And his umbrella broke when we were out um, not too long ago. So I got him a brand new umbrella. It's a super nice one that's supposed to be good for like wind resistance and it has never wet technology or some shit. I don't know. It's a nice umbrella. So that's everything I got for Limbs and everything he got for me. And uh, we had a great Christmas. It was wonderful. I love all my gifts. They're all so sweet and thoughtful. Um, I hope he likes his gifts too. <laughs> He says he does. So we're about to actually go to the Arlington because they have Christmas buffet on Christmas day. So we're gonna go eat the Christmas buffet at the Arlington. And then later we're gonna cook Christmas dinner. We got like a turkey breast and some things like that. Just a little Christmas dinner for us. We're not doing the big Christmas dinner until my family comes. Hopefully next weekend, but maybe the weekend after depending on when my sister and my nieces get better. So anyway, I guess that's the end of Vlogmas, guys. Thank you so much for watching and joining me for another year. I hope you guys have a great holiday season and all your dreams come true. I love you guys. See you next year. Bye.